Good morning and welcome to Victoria Coach Station. So I've been on Flix buses many times before in Europe. If you haven't seen it, check out my uh, video on the longest Flix bus journey from uh, Bucharest uh, to Bordeaux in France. Have a look in the corner, it's that corner, that corner, I can't remember. But it's up there somewhere. And when I learned last year that Flixbus is finally making a domestic UK network, I was very excited. Fortunately, I didn't. I was quite busy last year, so I didn't get a chance to try it out. But uh, then they shut down over winter. I was like, oh no, have they they've been bargained out? Are they leaving domestic UK network? It was a weird time to set it up during COVID. But now they're back in 2021, and they started off with 99p fares around the UK for a limited time only, so it's probably expired by the time I upload this video, knowing my, me with uploading. So yeah, today we're gonna to do a quick trip over to Wales and back using Flixbus and see how they're doing. Well, not the best start, Flixbus. 9.07 now, the bus still hasn't turned up, although the Manchester one did depart some time, so we will see. seatbelts while we remain seated unless you're getting up going to the loo we have those facilities for you to use they are situated at the rear of the They're currently having a bit of a price war with their 99p pairs for National Express. So 
on the similar uh, Tonic buses, National Express will reduce their prices to 90 pence for a ticket on those routes, which is quite extreme, so that means they're, they're going to fight it out. The thing is with Flexbus though, I don't know if they'll succeed or not, because I've barely seen any marketing for it. There's no advertising, no posters, nothing like that. All you, unless you already know about it, the only way you'll recognise it and work operating in the country is by seeing the coaches on the road, considering half of them are still white rather than a nice new green. I don't know how well it's going to succeed. Also, are they going to continue offering a domestic product like National Express? Or are they going to start doing, say, Bristol to Paris or, I don't know, Edinburgh to Amsterdam or something like that? Will they be operating routes like that? And if so, will they go through London? Because what, it took us about 45 minutes to get out of London today. Will they have another stop on the M around the M25 somewhere, so I don't know, Heathrow or Ebbsfleet, somewhere like that, where they can interchange and operate shuttles into London, and then the bus can continue straight on to mainland Europe, which would save a couple of hours at least without avoiding going into London Victoria. Flexbus could do is what they did with Megabus in Europe. They could buy out their mainland operations. That would be quite extreme considering Megabus originated in the UK. It's part of the stage approach. That would be quite a challenge for them to do. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see where Flexbus go. Another option I think they could succeed in quite successfully is their night bus market. In Europe they have plenty of night buses going all around the place. And the UK National Express just don't offer that many. So if they offered, and there's no real night trains in the UK as well, so if they offered lots of night buses heading around the UK, that might be one area where they could really succeed and get their name out there. But anyway, we are almost at Cardiff now. So I'll just show you the rest of the journey. Thank you very much, mate. Have a good afternoon. Right, oh, to the station. Right, so that was the Flix bus to Swansea because we're 20 minutes late. I've got 12 minutes to get to the station. And apparently, it's a 14 minute walk from my train to Bristol. So. We shall see how it goes. There we go. Made it with a few minutes to spare. The wouldn't really have mattered if I missed this train. Just gonna have an advance ticket. 
means I could only catch the train on the Hatton Broad and e-ticket, it, but I could have got the one an hour later. So it was a risk booking this one, but here we are. Coach C. Here we go, I believe it was 28. Just all the way. 28, here we go. It's because I've split ticket, that's why it says it's available to port. Talbot. Split tickets, so much cheaper. Well, in comparison to the fixed bus, this is a much quicker way to Wales from London. And normally it's not that expensive as either. With a rail card, I believe it's about £30 roughly, uh, one way. So that's not too bad, but compared to the 99p, Flixbus ticket is uh, far cheaper than Flixbus. So look at the seats compared to the Flixbus. You got the seat, not quite as comfy, it's a bit hard. Uh, you've got some power sockets, where are they? They're down here. There you go. And a much quicker service. There's probably a food cart on here as well somewhere. So yeah. Right then, so the plan now is to, we're going to Bristol, which is about an hour's journey. Um, what was it, an hour and a half, I can't remember. Uh, and we're gonna get some lunch there, and then we're catching the Flixbus, route number 41, uh, back to London, which again was only 99p. It's much warmer on this train, I'll tell you what. Those National Express Titanos, even with the heat set to 24 degrees, they can be freezing cold. So that's why I'm looking forward to trying the Van Hall, which hopefully is on the route for Bristol today. Hopefully get a green Flix Plus one as well. So I'm in Bristol. I decided to catch the bus from Bristol Parkway. <laughs> Believe it or not, my bus from London to Swansea was cheaper. Actually, my bus to, from London to Swansea and my bus back from Bristol to London, if you forget about the booking fee, was cheaper than that bus journey from Bristol Parkway into the centre here. But yeah, uh, just went, going, went and got a burger from a place called, what was it, Burger Theory. Amazing burgers if you're in Bristol, go there. And so I'd come to Queen Square to, have, to eat it. So now it's almost 10 past five, so I'm gonna have a quick walk around Bristol because the only time I've been in here was three in the morning, go and check out my uh, final, British Airways final flight 767 video, if you want to know why. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna have a quick walk around because I've never properly been here before. And yeah, then it's time to get on the, get on the bus back. Let's have a walk around. Bus. There's no signpost or anything. I initially thought it was over there. You can actually see the Flixbus that's just driven past over to the right of there, so I'm assuming it's going to come around here. I thought it was over where the Megabus bus is stop and the Falcon coaches, but the map says it's on this side of the road, so it's either this bus stop here or there's a lay by just up there. It's one of the two. I, I can see the Flixbus just over there, and it looks like we have a nice green one as well, so that's good news. Going to the bus stop over there, it looks like. So, this is our nice brand new, or say, brand new, it looks like it's 2019 Van Hoo Flix bus. Let's see what London. Thank you. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Oh. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, jump 
one has already, already. on the way in.
there you have it. That was Flixbus's uh, Service 41 from Bristol to London, Victoria. Very pleasant journey. Quite like the Van Hoos, really nice coach. Had USB and Wi-Fi on there. Didn't have a plug socket though. Um, but although the leg room on that bus was rather small. So I, I, I don't quite know how easy it would be on a long journey. If you've got two seats, it's kind of fine. You can spread out, but if it was just the one, it'll be a bit of a struggle. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next video. Maybe a really aviation-related soon, hopefully. See when we can get flying again when COVID's over. Thank you very much. Like this one.